The gentleman yields back. We now go to my friend and colleague from California, Mr. Liu. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman Issa and Ranking Member Johnson for holding this important hearing. Uh, so, Ms. Temple, I have a question for you. You showed F Movies, uh, the online piracy site for movies. If you're in Europe and you typed in that website, would you be able to watch free movies in Europe? No, and the vast majority you would not because, uh, again, it's been blocked in 16 countries, right. including most of the EU. Uh, so you would not be able to access F movies in those um, uh, places where it has been site blocked uh, through the legislation there. Right. Thank you. Uh, so, Mr. Assurers, I just went on my phone and went on F movies, and it's still up, and I can watch Willy Wonka for free without paying for it. Why? don't the online service professor, um, providers block it right now, like today? So I, I, I take as described the, the site that we saw here, though I, I do have to ask, that might have to do with something with why federal law enforcement hasn't taken action against this either. There are, of course, lots of remedies that are available today under existing federal law. Well, I think the reason is because they're based in Vietnam. but. You don't have to take it as a scribe. You can just go on it on your phone right so, now. So I think we should take a step back and recognize that if the remedy that is sought is implemented here, all we're doing is preventing a domain name from resolving to an IP address, right? Like, right. But I think that's important. So I'm going to ask the members of your organization to take it down right now. So F Movies is so popular, there's a whole Wikipedia site on it. I just read it. It's you know been in existence since... 2016, it was launched seven years ago. It says what countries have blocked it, what countries have it. Uh, your members can take it down or can block it right now. I'm just asking you to do that because we're trying to be reasonable here. This is such an unreasonable case. It is so clearly online piracy, copyright infringement, and you don't want your organization, your members to be defending something so blatantly unlawful and unreasonable. So I just ask your members to block that site today. So the broadband providers that actually provide the, the resolution of these domain names are, are, are not at this table. Right? So right. Get them to some, block this site today. People I, should I, block this site today because you cannot defend this. It is not, it's just not defensible. And the members of Congress are watching this. This is, this is not where you want to be. This is not where your industry wants to be. I, I get the nuances. I don't, I mean, I even oppose the views that you espouse today, but this particular site, for example, is not defensible, and certainly not for seven years. I think and I, you did say, like, in your testimony, right, you um, talk about how your organization and your companies work with stakeholders to, you know, deal with copyright infringement. This has been going on, like, since 2016, it's so clearly indefensible. I'm just asking you all to, to, take, it, to the, take it down, the, to block it. The digital services that are content creators among my constituents are also victims of these sites. They, too, distribute content online, and their, their content is also pirated. So this is a broadly shared interest in preventing infringement, and obviously the best tool for that is to make content as widely available as possible where and when consumers want it. Meeting consumers' needs is-, is So that's very interesting. I, I, you, I know you said that, you put in your testimony. Do you think people actually don't know how they can watch the movie Willy Wonka? Do well, you think so with, I, with, with internet search, they, they won't be able to figure out how they can stream it and pay for it? I think yeah. that's a great question yeah. because at least as, as we've been told, Wonka is not yet available in this market, but it's available in other markets. And so we often see that pirates arbitrage windowed releases to try and take advantage of content not being available in one market. And that's why an, a number of audiovisual producers have gone to worldwide releases. But so so what, what you're saying is that all movie studios immediately upon releasing a movie and the movie studios need to also release it. Right, online, I mean, is that your solution? What I'm saying is the best strategy to fighting piracy, among many strategies, right. is ensuring that consumers can access the content that they want to pay for. And we've seen that when lawful services are launched in countries where there is high piracy, right. those rates go down because consumers, by and large, want to pay for this stuff. They want to consume it lawfully. There's, it's, there's, right. there's obviously risks to infringing services, um, and the vast majority of them want to support the creators 
that they uh, that they enjoy. So, so the, thank you. So I, I asked the members of your organization that can block this to block it, and if they don't exist in your organization, I asked the chair of this committee to call in a hearing with the witness that does represent the members that could block this site and block it now. Would the gentleman yield? yield back? Yes. No, no, go ahead. Uh, pursuant to your request, I will agree to invite, uh, if you will, members of the ISP community here to have a discussion about the proposed uh, remedies and how some or all of them might be implemented pursuant to court order. So that will be an invitation that the ranking member and I will send out uh, before we get to Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 